Tennessee into course algebra one, practice test question number seven. The scatter plot shows the number of free throws Jerry made in six basketball games. For game seven, which number of free throws that Jerry could make would be considered an outlier? Well, first of all, you have to know what an outlier is. An outlier is exactly what it says. It's an lies outside. In this case, it lies outside the norm. There's probably somebody you know who's an outlier. You may be an outlier yourself. Everyone who's uh, uh, great is probably an outlier, and everyone who thinks they're great, even if they're not, probably believe that they're outliers, no matter their delusion. Anyway, we're going to look for a number that wouldn't fit the grand scheme of things. So in order to find a significant outlier here, it would be really, really easy for me if I just boxed in what I think the limits are, and then start plotting some points. A is 3, so that's right here. That's outside my line, but not way off, so probably not. B is here. No, so that's not way off. C is here. That's kind of at the top. And D is 12, so D would be way up here. As you can tell, D does not play well with others. So it is the outlier. It's way up here in our averaging and right in this general area. Actually, this is probably borderline outlier anyway, but we're going to leave it because it's not that far off that it's an outlier. It would just be a, a number inside the reasonable uh, approximation of what our mean would be. So the answer to number seven is D.